always get a second opinion somewhere else because it's 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 people like this it's not even about the dealership it could just be the technician that was trying to get extra hours you know i'm not saying the dealership is is you guys got to understand that the dealership is not just a dealership the dealership is made up of technicians and salespeople so if any of those techs or salespeople are crooked then that ruins the dealership's name so it's not cool that you recommend brakes claiming to be almost metal to metal and they're pretty much brand new all right guys i got kind of a quick one for you guys today uh, i just wanted to show you a couple things you guys may remember this van this one is a 2018 sienna that i did fog lights on and i also did the brakes uh, about six months ago so the story with this one is this guy took it to the dealership and they told him that he needed brakes all around especially in the back so he brought it over to me to check it out all right just want to show you some things look at these tires brand new tires just keep that in mind so i'm over here taking the brakes apart i already took the front right out and um these are the brake pads for the front right okay and i'm going to show you the paperwork it says that these are down to four millimeters this is not four millimeters so this is like eight or nine millimeters and they told him that his front brakes were down to four and that his rear brakes were down to two um so we're gonna take this side apart and i'm gonna show you guys this is why this is one of the reasons that i don't people don't trust us you know as mechanics everybody believes in, in the dealership as the end all be all solution to your problems but when you go to the dealership and they tell you you need brakes all around can you trust them so i did these back in uh six seven maybe almost i want to say almost a year ago and this is how much they're worn down i'll put a link to the video where i did them that's what they look like and let me tell you this is not four millimeters i'm gonna show you right now what they measure at and we'll take it from there all right but that's a shame let me see if i can see the back through here if i can peek through here i can show you guys but mm, i have to take the wheel off all right so here's the inspection from longo toyota now i don't know if you guys are familiar with longo but if you're from the southern california area and you own a toyota chances are you got it from longo toyota it's probably the biggest southern cali dealership anyways you can see right here on the inspection, they got all four wheels. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. On the left rear, on the brake pads, they got us at two millimeters. On the left front, four millimeters. You can see the right front four and the right rear four. Now where it says tire tread, all of them read 930 seconds. Well, at least they got something right. They also replaced some of these lug nuts that get swollen with the little shell. And that's about it. Everything else looks pretty good on the inspection, but for you to tell me that these brake pads are down to two millimeters, well, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that, and I'm gonna take off the tires, and I'm gonna verify my suspicions. Let me just take off this wheel, we'll look at it, and we'll call it a video. Make sure you're on the pinch wheel here. Yeah, give me a second, let me just check the back brakes. I don't know if you can see that real quick, but let me take this one out. Ay, wait, the caliente. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I showed it already. Are you sure? Sí, they marcaron 230 seconds. Y el, en los frente, cuatro. And there weren't two and four. They're like nine and ten. Let's see. Wait. Check it out. This is not 230 seconds of an inch. So, this is how they do it. Well, this is a tire gauge, and it's calibrated at zero. Okay, so we're just gonna go here and go down and check it out. That's like nine or 10, 30 seconds. Yep, there you go. This is nine to 10, 30 seconds. So the front has even more. I was thinking around eight, 30 seconds, but this is not two, 30 seconds. 
Come on, Longo. All right, I'm gonna put it back. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Actually, we can see the inner pad from here. Can you see the inner pad? Yeah, same thing. Same thing. So, I don't have to check the other side. Do I really have to check the other side? I mean, if they said both sides were down to 30 seconds, this side is showing 9 30 seconds. I don't, I don't know why dealers do that. Well, it's going back. Are good. All right, really quick. I just want to show you what two millimeters looks like. All right, this right here is the digital micrometer, digital caliper, whatever you want to call it. Right now, I have it set at zero millimeters, and I'm going to show you what two millimeters looks like. Okay, and let me tell you that it's not what the brake pads look like. This right here is a nickel, five cents. We're going to turn it on the side. You see the thickness of the nickel? That right there is exactly two millimeters thick. You see that? 2.03. If your brake pads aren't this thin, then it's not time to change them. Unless they're making noise or crack, they're defective or something like that. But if they're telling you that you need brakes because you're almost metal to metal and they don't look this thin, then it's not time to change them. The brake pads that we took off were about this thick, about eight millimeters thick. It will take four nickels there's a huge gap between two and eight. So it's not a mistake. They were trying to sell brakes, trying to make extra money, trying to screw the customer over. So next time you guys go to a dealership, go to a shop, wherever you go to get your brakes checked, you have the right to go look at your brakes to see if they're this thin, if they're two millimeters thick or thin. So next time somebody tells you that you need brakes, that they're down to two millimeters in thickness, go somewhere else, get a second opinion because they might be lying to you.